stacked up. And you'd have about three or four or five turntables. Well, really, in Jamaica, you only could afford one. <laughs> but some sound systems like Stone Love, GT International, hey, Saxon, hey, Coxon. So. <laughs> real quick, before, and you tell me if I'm wrong based on what you're saying, okay. Buzz. As a DJ, we all, I mean, I think most DJs know, there would not be hip hop, there would not be two turntables without Jamaican culture. You're Bringing right, it right. to Listen the, to what the I'm sound saying. And she just started. She, as a matter of fact, she was the, the very first female DJ in Jamaica. I get ideas from some of the jukebox, you know, to build these box with a lot of glass and fancy stuff and writing on it. When the amplifier, the power of the amplifier was much less, it wasn't strong enough to break the glass. So we went for beauty, you know. So they made it a glass? Yeah, yes, certain spots. But real quick, before, and you tell me if I'm wrong, based on what you're saying, okay. Buzz, as a DJ, we all, I mean, I think most DJs know, there would not be hip hop. There would not be two turntables without Jamaican culture You're bringing right, right. it to Listen the, to what the I'm sound. Saying. We should call them disco music. Yep. You, you'd have to have big money. Only there's only one store that sold them was like Derek Carriott and. Um, we couldn't afford that stuff. So we used to go to Aquarius in Halfway Tree yeah. and buy the bootleg 45. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember Star, yeah. Star Child from Brooklyn came down to Jamaica mm -hmm. and did a, a set. That's the first time we've seen that Brooklyn scratching. Because then I mean, scratching wasn't really that big. We used, that to, time, we, used, yeah. we used to buy like the Kiss the Kiss cassettes and the WBS cassettes and okay. hear the mix of them. We said, how the hell did they do it so fast? Yeah. Whatever it was like 20 DJs. <laughs> the only one day I realized there's like 20 DJs in a line yeah. mixing. Because it's like, that tune to that tune to what that tune. What did they do? Yeah, that's like, I can't hear it. Right. So they were like, they were like, gold to us. You, you got a Kiss cassette back in those days. Yeah. Nobody came and chat to you. Yeah. So, um, for saying that now, so we used to saw so style child come down with a Gemini mixer, two turntables, and um, the mixing matters. So, oh, I saw him do it. There's nobody in Jamaica selling mix, yeah. mixing mat. <laughs> so, yeah, so we took the 12 inch uh, record yeah. sleeve and cut out, cut out the the, the, the record okay. part and fling it on. Okay, so a man said, Why? Well, well, we still had that on, on, on the mats, yeah. The man said, No. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah. Took it took it off the mat and then yeah. straight from the, the, the metal to, to the um the uh, mat and we're using forty fives now. For so, the, okay, so it wasn't twelve inch at this no, time. No, 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 twelve inch. We couldn't afford twelve inch. Yeah. The bootleg the bootleg <laughs> the bootleg um forty five mm -hmm. white label. Yeah, white, yeah. first of time course. to make a white label. Yeah. So um used white label now, forty five so you know, I don't know if you know still, but if you're scratching a 45 yeah. on a record sleeve mat, <laughs> it's going to slide. Yep. <laughs> so, yep. Then time was like 55 E sure, and mm. that shit does bends. Yeah. So then um, Pickering came out. Okay. The stronger um, stylus. Yeah. So we'll kind of, we just kind of like, um, we thought, all right, this, this glue the centerpiece to the record and then put a record over it and, yeah. and it, <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing all sorts of listen you have to be innovative yeah, you know what I mean that's, we didn't know I mean yeah. no, there was no YouTube yeah. we can see how to do this you just have to figure be, it out right so we realized that alright we ain't got we ain't got a lot of, lot of um, the disco stuff mm -hmm. so we start mixing rockers we're mixing Dennis Brown Revolution and stuff got like that you, you know? got you but at, at, at that time now we weren't doing it correctly yeah when you say correctly what do you mean by correctly, correctly? now is the guy squeeze yeah he touched perfection but he wasn't doing it correctly too yeah and 
That's why I tell any DJ to this day, if you want to be a DJ, learn music structure. For sure, 100%. Right. So we worked out, um, all right, four by intro, eight by intro. Yeah. First chorus, mix upon the chorus. Yeah. You know, that's, that's how we started, started that stuff. Okay, like. so you under, so after a while, uh, you started to understand, understand that structure. We were just mixing stuff. Yeah. And so like, the party went rocking. Yeah. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Nobody <laughs> does. Yeah. We're, doing, we're doing shit. So yeah. we had to learn. And we learned that by mixing soul music. Yeah. Because oh. we, 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 we were like, we're advanced. We are just, we are mixing where we could, where we could mix. So Anything we'll mix. you could get your hand right. on. Right. So that most soul songs were like all 16 bar intro and stuff yeah. like that. So we had to work out the intro sound. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, it's like stuff like that. That's. stacked up and you'd have about three or four or five turntables well really in Jamaica you only could afford one <laughs> but some sound systems like Stone Love GT International Saxon Coxon but real quick before and you tell me if I'm wrong based on what you're saying okay Buzz, as a DJ we all I mean I think most DJs know there would not be hip-hop there would not be two turntables Without Jamaican culture, You're bringing right, it right. to Listen the, the sound. Other two line music huts entertainment report podcast and tonight. I usually don't wear the shirt a lot, but when I put on the shirt that says legend, it's because we have somebody extremely, extremely, extremely special in the building. Listen, this is the first time he's actually given you an interview like this. Whenever you hear the name Stone Love, you hear his name synonymous with it when you hear original Stone Love. You know we have in the building today? We have cancer in the building today. What's going on, big boss? Well, I'm here, brother. How is you and everything, muscle? I the Demand Report podcast, you know, live I'm on direct. Great. I'm great. Thank you so, 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 so very much. Because listen, the amount of people that's been asking to hear from the original cancer, it's been ridiculous. And the thing with it, I had no way of finding you until last night. I just asked somebody and they said, you know what? I have it. And tonight we're sitting down here. So it's just something that's meant to be. I thought back then it was only the rubber dub sound because they had the DJ to DJ on the next side that it was one turntable. I didn't realize that the soul songs were also one turntable also. Yes, in those times, uh, most most of the soul songs them they were using one turntable. It's after later down in the 70s, um, precise 78, 79, I figure it started to have two turntable and so on. But earlier on, 70, 71 along that line, just mm -hmm. one turntable. Here comes Bob Martin in the wedding way, ladies and gentlemen. down. Mobile discotheques call sound systems travel all around Jamaica. Slash, yeah, you know. Yeah, man. That the cat all time. Ball on a lens. Ball on a long lens. Tell them I'm ready, I'm going to tell them again. Trouble already, I'm going to trouble them again. Worries and trouble when you hear me again. That's my house. And I live there. Ball on a
Abashanti I slash the eye. Yeah. Rastafari. Who don't like him by this? Yes, my liar. Ah, the mercy. Imagine. I'm the cross. I'm the cross. Where I first saw the light. These sounds, they had like four turntables in a row. And what they would do is they had the amps connected to the turntable. So they would turn one amp down, turn the other one up. So this is how you go from one turntable to another. And they turn those amps down, turn this one up. And you have this turntable, turn that one down, turn this one up. So what the Jamaican DJ spelled, mm, Slash ya, you know. Yeah, man. Daddy cat all time. Wala la leng, wala long leng. Tell him I'm ready, me go tell him again. Trouble already, me go trouble him again. Worries and trouble when you hear me again. That's my house, and I live there. Balang. Oh, Abashanti I slash the eye. Yeah. Rastafari. Who don't like him by this? Esmolaya. Ah, the mercy. Imagine. I'm the cross. I'm the cross. Where I first saw the light. Mobile discotheques call sound systems travel all around Jamaica. Like, when at the time it was nothing to us, yeah. You know, but um, <laughs> grew up under that vibration, and after that, now then my brother, yeah, took it over, and that's where we went through the earth, wind, and fire, the yes. whispers, the RM. Mm -hmm. it, was more, it was more of a, more of a soul man, Got you. and um, at the same time, I had a Joe Gibbs disco mix, them with like um. The disco mix, I don't even know about that. I don't even know about that. But the, of um, course. the twelve inch disco of mixes, course. which that period too. Um, then migrated to Jamaica yeah. in the seventies. Went to school, um, Calibur High School, yeah. and um, at that time we were dancers. We yeah. dan we, everybody, everybody are dancing. Oh, you were dancing at that yeah, time, popping and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> so you were just, a just break dancer. Just before the break dancing yeah. period. That's that, <laughs> that stage. Um, yeah, like. Um, Sonic Four stuff like that. Mm -hmm. that, that period of music. Yeah. Um, so named Peacemaker, a guy named Squeeze. Yes. That was the, to yes. us was the greatest, the Holy Grail. Like yeah. everybody wanted to touch that perfection. Like concert music that you don't get bored of. Every song. Yeah. Move you. And so, around what year are we speaking about here? We're talking about um seventy eight, seventy. Yeah, well, seventy eight, seventy nine. Okay. Um, we used to call them fit days. Yeah, uh, fit days. Um. So, so, where did you get the idea to go to America? Well, in 